over the past few weeks, um, we have been chatting to each of our guests, finding out a bit about them and their background in music by hearing what their firsts are. Which you've been really worried about this, <laughs> Frankie, haven't you? She Why? doesn't like getting put on the spot. <laughs> Do you feel like you're on the spot, really? A little bit, yeah, because I, I don't know, I can never think of what, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you've got to fess up, basically. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I love it when we have, because we've had some, you know, kind of quite heavy acting who've admitted to things like their first album was the Spice Girls yeah. and stuff like that, which is just brilliant. Well, I'm going to get my little notes here. Okay, so come to you first, then, Frankie, not to put the pressure on you or anything. Uh, what was, the? F- now this is going to be interesting for you, the first album or maybe piece of music that you bought and in what format was it okay so where oh, i can't remember how old i was but my parents bought me an ipod nano and um we had i don't know was it itunes back in that day i don't remember but um my dad downloaded me and i'm sure it was do wops and hooligans by bruno mars it might have been katie perry those are kind of mixed up yeah. Those are definitely some of the first ones. I love it because it also sort of ages the person. You're, <laughs> yeah. so, you're so young, it's wonderful. What about you, Andrew? Do you remember what yours was? I do was? actually, yeah. Mine was a CD. Um, I don't, it, was a, it wasn't out when I was that age, but I think it was the Spaghetti Incident. Is that what it was called? The Spaghetti Incident by Guns N' Roses. It was just an album that had spaghetti on it. Is oh, that I what it was called? That. Do you know what? I can't remember it what the album was called. It was the one after called, but... Appetite for Destruction, which, which, I which Which songs were on it? <sighs> Do you know what? I can't There'll remember. There'll be someone listening who knows. Probably, yeah. I, th- I think that's what it was called. I, might, did I could you be like, completely wrong there. Did you have it on like repeat? Was it just kind of... I did. I, I kind of went through that stage where I was just into like I Maiden and Guns N' Roses. and um, But yeah, that was kind of what I was into at that age. I was probably yeah. about 13 or 14, I think. So Heavy yeah. stuff. Heavy stuff. Yeah, Not so. completely changed throughout the years. I, I don't tend to listen to that stuff much yeah. anymore. But um, That's what I find interesting, though, is what's influenced yeah. you over the years and how people's music tastes change throughout that time. Yeah. Okay, so uh, back to you then, Francesca. Uh, what is your first memory of seeing live music, of like what would be the sort of first gig you went to? Do you remember what that is? Um, I was about 12 and we went to see Rihanna. No it was way. Great. I loved it. Yeah, what so, an experience! Yeah, my parents and me and my sister. Was it like a big stadium gig then? Yeah, it was pro- It was a proper good first gig to go to. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she played like Umbrella and you know all the hits. It was yeah, loved it. Oh, that's so cool! All right, come on then, Andrew. What was yours? Yeah, mine was in two thousand and seven. I went to see the Foo Fighters again. So I was awesome. Quit. I was a bit a bit of a guitar music and like yeah. a bit of a rock stuff when I was a bit younger. I was seventeen. I went with my dad. So the great thing about that gig was when we got there, we didn't realise on because it didn't say on the ticket, it just said with support, but they had the future heads opened. Oh, no way. And then Manic Street Preachers were on for like no. a, a, about an hour and a half. So <gasps> what was, a line I know. Up. So That's incredible. So yeah, that's three, three awesome acts. Big, big awesome acts, yeah. yeah on the same day so it was, oh. that was great yeah that See, was my first first ever time at a gig that's reminded me one of the one of the biggest gigs i saw first was um u2 at wembley and opening for them was bjork and the stereo mcs yeah. and it was just again you get that sort of Complete whole thing surprise, of yeah. three awesome acts all in yeah. one okay right so what is what was it what's your your first gig performing yourself do you remember where and when that was it was rock school <laughs> when i rock was like school. yeah i was like 11 um, so I went to this like summer camp and um, we spent a whole week practicing and you know playing together and then we put on a little show at the end. Love yeah. it. Do you remember what you played? Because it'd be covers, I presume. Well, yeah. So I actually played the. F- that was when I wrote my first ever song and we played that one. It was called Shine Through and it was Aww. really quite dark for an eleven-year-old. But um, <laughs> <laughs> and then we played was it um, Forget You by Celia Green. And yeah, I've seen the video. What? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come I've back seen, to that. There's I've video. Seen, there's evidence of this out there. <laughs> there is yeah. video. There is okay, yeah. where, where is this video, Andrew? <laughs> it's, it's on my mum's computer. It is not in the public domain, fortunately. Somebody needs good. to release this video. I mean, you are clearly going to be a huge superstar. So, I mean, <laughs> if you can get hold of this, if anyone can get hold of this, it's, your mum's going to do it, isn't it? She, she will. She's going to release it. She will. Yeah. She will. It'll yeah. Be she'll on make YouTube later. She'll make <laughs> millions from it. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. All right, then. And I'm just going to ask you both one last question. Then, what is the first artist that comes to mind if I say recommend somebody to me? Who would you always want to recommend to me? Oh, you go first. I'm gonna to have to think about this. Okay, um, 
Yeah, it's quite. I mean, just from what I've been listening to lately, Wolfpack. Oh, the, Wolfpack are fantastic. But that's, and they're yeah, completely batty. I know they're batty. quite big anyway. So it, <laughs> well, not really. It's a lot of people that don't so know much, them, yeah. to be honest. So but that, that's kind of what I've been really listening to funky, lately. Really funky, incredibly yeah. clever musicians, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And they are so brilliantly odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're really quirky. Like they did an album in a sauna or something, didn't they? Yeah. With little red fezzes on. Completely bossy, but they honestly really good. They make it really sound good. fantastic, though. It, like, they do. To listen to, so yeah. They have a weird way of doing it, but it's, it works. Wolfpack so. is a great show. Yeah. I'm loving that, and I would highly, I would definitely agree yeah. with that one. Right, go on there. No pressure, Francesca. I've been really liking Maisie Peters at the minute. Again, excellent yeah. shout. Really good stuff, and it makes sense with uh, with your kind of style and your music and everything as well. So that's good. Well, listen, I love hearing these things. I love hearing your first, because now we know more about you. But what we are going to do now is we're going to play you out with your new, new single, this was released yesterday. Um, nice. Tell me a little bit about Leave Me On Fire before we hear it. So um, Andrew actually started writing this one on the piano and it was completely different. And I came in and went, no, change that, change that. So <laughs> we rewrote the lyrics and then, yeah, added guitars and made it a little bit more rocky. Um, and then we basically got straight into the studio the next day after writing it. Um, I was really excited about it. Yeah. So we wanted to get it down. And um, here we are. Yeah. Oh. Well, listen, we're going to hear it. But before we do, tell us a little bit, because you're going to be going on tour, aren't you? Tell us where you're going on tour and when. So we're hoping to go in October. We're not sure exact dates yet, but we're hoping just kind of around the Midlands. So northwest, northeast. Um, Leeds, Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle, that, that kind of area. Excellent. So you UK fans. And what's the setup going to be, Andrew? How is it going to yeah, look? Yeah, it's, it's probably going to be me and you uh, with track. So we've been doing yeah. a lot of stuff with, with track from the from the songs that are going to be on the EP, just elements of, of, of the song. So that seems to work quite well. We've been doing it lately. So. Yeah. It sounds like you've really settled into the local scene now, haven't you? Yeah. 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 We've uh, settled in nicely and got a little space to record as well. So... Yeah. Excellent. Well, listen, where can we find out about, uh, first of all, obviously you, Frankie, tell us about your various social media pages. So I am at Francesca May G pretty much everywhere um, on Facebook. I'm Francesca May. Just type in Francesca May. You'll, you'll probably find me. I think you probably will. And what about <laughs> the studio, Andrew? Yeah, it's AJ Production on Facebook. So Excellent. Well, it's all there. as ever. It's lovely to see you both. Uh, and we're going to leave you with Leave Me On Fire, the brand new single. This got out yesterday, so you can download this and listen to it over and over again to your heart's content. Let us know when you've got the vinyl out, won't you? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>